Hello and welcome back. In today's lesson, we shall be looking at finding the gradient at a given point. Um, this is a continuation from the last lesson where we were looking at differentiation. In this case, you will be given the um, equation, the function, and asked to find the gradient at a particular point. Um, there are two steps to solving this type of problem. The first step is to differentiate and the second step is to substitute uh, so let's have a look at some examples. So the first example here says find the equation of the gradient of the curve y is equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 at the point x is equal to 3. So that's the point it's given to you and you need to first of all differentiate that um, function and then um, substitute when x is equal to 3. So let's do that. Um, if y is equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3, then um, divide by dx would be equal to 2 times 2 is 4. And if we reduce the power by 1, we'll just have x minus, and that comes to just 5. Yeah, and that is the that is the gradient, um, if, uh, the gradient function. So now we need to substitute when x equals 3. Uh, dy by dx would be equal to um, 4 times 3 minus 5, which is equal to um, 12 minus 5, which is equal to 7. So that's the gradient at that particular point. That's the gradient of that curve at that particular point, okay, when x is equal to 3. The next example says find the gradient of the curve y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 at the point 3 comma 2. Sometimes it might give you coordinates in the question, but remember, you're only concerned about the x coordinates. Yeah, You're only concerned about the x coordinates because that's the point that you want to um to find where, uh, what the gradient is at. Okay, so the first step again is to differentiate. So if y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3, then the y by the x would be equal to um, 2 times 1 would be 2x plus 2. Um, then when x is equal to 3, then the y by the x, x is equal to 3, the y by the x would be equal to, you substitute, 2 times 3 plus 2. Um, that's going to give you 6 plus 2, which is equal to 8. I know I'm using x is equal to 3, but it can be any number. You know, I've used it here and I've used it here, but it can be any number. Okay, in the next example, I'm going to use a different number so you see that it can be any number. In this last example, it says to find the gradient um, of the curve y is equal to 1 over x plus 5 at the point um, 2,5.5. So the x coordinate there would be 2. Okay, so I think you've seen 1 over x there and that might put you off a little bit, but you don't have to be put off. Remember, if you want to differentiate, it's easier to work with powers. So rewrite this, this number, this fraction here using powers yeah that would be the same thing as y is equal to x to the power of minus one negative one plus five and now we can easily differentiate uh when we when we differentiate that the y by the x would be equal to um negative x because negative one times one would be negative um one yeah so and then if we reduce the power by one and that would just be um x to the power of um we won't have any powers anymore and um if we reduce the power by one then we would have negative two yeah <laughs> okay so then we substitute now when x is equal to two then dy by the x would be equal to negative two yeah substituting negative two to the power of two which is equal to um, negative 1 over 4 or 
negative 0 0.25 they will all be correct yeah that's where i'm going to end it for this um for this lesson um thanks for watching if you have any more um questions you can definitely ask me in the in the lesson in the class okay thank you